Hello! If you watch my vlog, then you know I'm about to jump into my March favorites, and that's what this is. It's all basically beauty related, except for one item, which is a hand sanitizer. Um, I don't really have much just because I haven't really been buying anything, except for now, I bought some things from Sephora and some things from Makeup Geek. So you might see that in my April favorites at the end of this month. Um, if you know me, I'm late at filming and uploading these, so you should expect nothing new from me. So we're just going to jump right on in, and I'm going to start with my one non-beauty favorite. And it's, like I said, a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, because it's the only really hand sanitizer that I love, because I love all their smells, including this one, which is their Garden Strawberries. And I actually had this in my car for a while, and since it got warm and it got cold, it kind of expanded a little bit. It's not usually that fat, but it smells amazing. So, and that's why I'm very, like, I don't want to use this all that much, but then I also have other ones that I need to use up and to buy more. And it's just awesome. So really... I use this every time after I use like the bathroom, after I wash my hands. You know, washing your hands can take the moisture out of them and make them very dry. So then I put this on. Not really for to moisturize my hands back up, but then they don't feel so dry. And it kills germs a little bit more on top of washing them. So I have a couple of lip favorites, so we'll jump right into that. I don't know if I had mentioned this in my February favorites, and if I have, I'm continuing it. If not, then I'm going to just say what it is. It's the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Cream Boule. And you don't really smell the Cream Boule. I remember, you know, it smells a little bit sweeter. It smells more like Vaseline. But I try to remember to use this every night before I go to bed so that way I wake up my lips are moisturized and not cracked and sometimes I remember and so it's for deliciously kissable lips and for the times I do remember to use this it does work and um, that's about all I can say besides it's mini and cute and adorable oh I have one more non-beauty favorite it's nail polish <laughs> If you saw my Easter outfit of the day slash night, um, then you've already seen this and it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails and it's a nail polish from Color Club and it's called Blue Mint and I've never had a true mint color and I thought okay well, I've tried purples and greens and yellows on my hands but with my skin tone it just makes me look more washed out and like my hands look sick looking. But this, it doesn't, and I love it. So, I found a new love for Color Club. I found a new love for Zoya nail polishes. Um, I used to really like OPI and China Glaze, but for some reason, I don't know if it's just me. If you have this problem, thumbs up this video. But for China Glaze, when I put on the color, either on my toes or on my hands, it becomes very matte and I'm not trying to make the matte or else I would put a top coat of it on top but it just becomes and uh, I don't know I don't know if it's a new formula um, it doesn't say on the bottle a matte nail polish so it could just be me so jumping into the rest of my lip favorites I have two more one is from NYX. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and when they mean matte, they mean matte. And this is in the color Prague, and it's a good spring-summer color, and it looks really dark, but it's actually a much lighter on your lips. So you def I've been good in putting like chapstick or lip cream or something underneath this, so that way my lips stay moisturized, but are able to keep this on here. So... Love. My last lippy is Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm. I have a thing for matte lips right now, 
and I'm going through a phase because I was never really one into more uh, lip glosses. Even when I had my hair up, those little flyaways, you get stuck to them and I just don't like it. But I will, I will use regular lipsticks without it being matte. So continuing on with this, this is in the color Striking and it's bright and it's fun and it looks, it's just a nice like red and it has like a nice, you know, spreadability to it, like it already faded out. So those are always nice. I have a face favorite two face favorites. One is foundation, one is powder, and I'm continuing on with the whole matte look. I've really given up on trying to find a good foundation color that's going to match my neck. I've asked around, people have told me, but every time I try to look for it, they're sold out, and I've just given up hope. So basically, I'm going to start looking like a clown for the rest of my life, and I'm okay with that, apparently. So... The foundation that I have been using, which I'm wearing on my face right now, and I have been using, which I ordered another one from Sephora. I'm telling you that because you've already seen it. And it's the Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation in the color Shell. Now, they say shake before using, but it's not really liquidy. But what the only thing besides it not matching my skin tone, it's so small for the price. $42 for this, but it's so small and I feel like I'm going to use it up by the end of this month and I just bought it maybe a week, two weeks ago. So, the other thing, it's a medium coverage and I'm trying to go for more, more of a full coverage, but it's okay, I have a concealer and I use that on spots that I need it. What I've had to do lately is go section by section. I can't just dot my face like with a liquid and then spread it out with my beauty blender. I have to do forehead and then dot it out and spread it and make it nice and then go cheek and then go cheek, chin and like upper lip and then nose. So it's like five different sections that I have to do because I've noticed that if I try to go all at once that when I spread it out you can still see where I had put the dots no matter how much I put it, you know, spread it out or whatever. So, which is fine. My beauty, my beauty blender from Real Techniques have made it so much easier to cut down the time I spent on my foundation. So, but it's the color shell. It's more of a yellow base. Um, when I had went to Ulta to try to find a good color, they said that fair skin is the hardest one to match. And trust me, it is. Because no drugstore color. I've tried every drugstore color that there is in the world and none of them match so i've had to go to higher end products which sucks for my bank and for my wallet so moving on i have a powder in rumel london stain matte long lasting pressed powder in transparent and i put on just a very 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 thin amount just to cover up the foundation to make sure it's set in stone and that's what this baby does and i like because it's more on the cheaper you can find this at any drugstore and so yeah i think i'm gonna keep purchasing this one because i used the mineral veil but then i've noticed that there's kind of like a fine shine to it and i don't want it all over my face this does not and then my last two favorites are both eye products and it's like the exact same thing just two different colors I've been loving and it is NYX liquid crystal liner and I just use this I'm not wearing any today but I would do it for like a winged eyeliner instead of using black or whatever if you have like nothing in a nude lip add a splash of color on there why not so this green one is in crystal jade and then this nice pinky one is in crystal pink and I have a purple I have a gold and I believe I have a silver or like a blue but I love these and I want to buy the rest of the colors and be nice and pretty so those are my March favorites 
and I will try to upload this in a goodly timely fashion, but knowing me, I won't. I'll probably upload this when I upload my April favorites. <laughs> don't hate me, don't shoot me please. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.